this all starts with the pandemic and Rishi putting too much money into the economy and causing problems without stimulating real job growth. And I, I launched at that time in March 2020 something that I called Cordwell Pandemic Recovery to stimulate growth of the real economy by bringing in, uh, by, by incentivizing businesses from all around the world to come to the UK in a special enterprise zone dedicated to the environment because that will be one of the biggest exports that there's going to be in the next 10, 20 years. So we really, really needed to do that, and we've done nothing. Now, all that money that went into people's pockets has then, post-pandemic, kept the economy buoyant, but it's all with government borrowing, and that has to come from somewhere. So where we are at the moment is a very, very natural downturn that's only slight at the moment, and I, I am actually amazed at the robustness of the UK economy because it, it is only a slight downturn, but it was inevitable. I thought it would be a lot more severe than it is because as that money that's running out in people's pockets, uh, which is also incidentally fueled inflation, as that runs out, then people are going to be spending less money and move us towards recession. But that really hasn't happened in line with my thinking. Mm. What do you make of the size of the tax burden, though, John called? Well, it's the highest tax burden in this country now since the Second World War. And you, we understand why my taxes were so high after the war, but to rebuild Britain after six years of conflict. Yeah, well, once again, a very complex question. But if you look at the major drivers of that, one is that we're nowhere near productive enough. Britain is a very unproductive society. You can only increase productivity by bringing on better, efficient means of producing things. Uh, or by working longer hours. That's not productivity per hour then, but it is productivity per person. So you either need to increase your hours or increase your efficiency, and we haven't done either of those things. Uh, in addition to that, then we've got a geriatric population, people who are way, 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 way more people now who are past retirement age that we have to support. We've got a really uh, improving uh, health science which enables people to live a lot longer. It enables illnesses to be treated whereas previously people would have died. And therefore, the burden on the health service is enormous. So, of course, then tax has to go up to, to keep up with that. But it's all to do with productivity. If we get the productivity up, then the percentage tax that we pay can remain low. And that's where we're failing as a country.